Over the past one year, I have collected three different single board computers: Raspberry Pi, Up Board, and the Orange Pi Lite. But the question arises, which one is the best? So in this video, let's compare them according to their price segment, performance, connectivity, and some of the other factors. So let's get started. Let's start with the price point itself. Raspberry Pi cost anywhere around forty dollars US, whereas Orange Pi Lite cost only twenty dollars US, and the most expensive one is none other than the Upboard, costing eighty nine dollars US. If we take a look at availability of these boards, Raspberry Pi and the Orange Pi can be bought from any website, such as Amazon or the Gearbest, while Upboard can only be purchased from its official website. Speaking about the performance. Upboard is a clear winner. It is powered by Intel X5 Z83 processor, which is a quad-core CPU clocked at 1.92 GHz. While Raspberry Pi uses A53 processor and the Orange Pi Lite uses A7 processor, both clocked at 1.2 GHz. Physically, all three boards have HDMI ports, USB 2.0 ports, 40 GPIO pins, CSI, and requires 5V to operate. while only upboard offers usb 3.0 and the micro usb orange pi lite has onboard microphone and the ir receiver a major factor that cannot be ignored is the memory and the clear winner is the upboard offering 4 gb of ddr3 memory while orange pi only offers 512 mb of ddr3 memory and the raspberry pi uses 1 gb of ddr3 memory which is significantly slower than the other two boards and both of them requires sd card to operate while upboard has emmc storage last but not the least raspberry pi offers you ethernet port and the wifi connection both whereas upboard only offers you the ethernet port and the orange pi has only wifi to offer you at the end to conclude everything what i said upboard is clearly a winner but the availability of this board is not that easy and the price segment can be a bit lower But if you don't want to spend eighty nine dollars on such board, a good alternative will be Orange Pi. But you don't get the Ethernet port if you want to do some connectivity stuff. And speaking about the Raspberry Pi, it is bit outdated, and I think they should release a new version pretty soon. So that's it for this video, guys. If you want to buy any of these boards, links are given in the description box. And don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. and i will see you guys in the next one